Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm out again. I've had a bit of a break for the last couple of weeks. Um, I'm sorry if it's, the sound sounds a bit fuzzy. I've got a fuzzy mic on because uh, it's very windy today. I don't know if you can tell where I am. Spooky old house again. I want to finish off the front of this field. So what I'm basically doing today is basically clearing up. I just want to clear up, make sure I've got everything out of here because um, he'll be harvesting this again soon so I won't be able to get in so I want to just pick up what I've got it's turning up different stuff every time so I got that half crown last time see if we can get a bit of silver maybe something a bit older maybe relically <laughs> who knows so all I have to say is get in this field and get it done This item, guys, not to get too excited about. So it's a bit of silver at first. Is that there? I think I know what that is. It looks like a top of a, like a, you know, you put a syringe in the top, like for uh, treating cattle and stuff. So it's like a top of a medicine bottle type of thing that you could put a syringe in. That's what I think that is. Okay, not exactly treasure, not exactly silver. <laughs> Not exactly coin, but we should keep going. Here's a start. Let's jog on to the next one. Hi guys, just dropped it. First one, coin. Bald as a bald doo doo. Looking at it, it's Victorian, I'd say. But I'm never. But normally there's a bit of detail on it. I'm going to say it's Victorian. I could be wrong. When I edit the video, I'll give it a wash when I get in, and if it's anything different than a Victoria, I shall let you know in the video. Let's crack on, see if we can't get any silver of these. Hi guys, next find. Massive chunk of lead. Looks like a bit of lead pipe that's basically blown apart. <laughs> and I wonder why that needed replacing. It has some weight in that. That's going in the edge until I'm not carrying that around, so that's going in the edge till I've finished. Let's crack on. See if we can't get some of them better than a blown up, smashed up piece of lead. Hi guys, next find. Love finding these. It's a little pocket knife. A little pocket knife. Don't know the age of that. <clears throat> 50, 60, 70 years old maybe, looking at the rust on it. What I like to do, I'll get these home, I'll chip this bit of rust out. The blade's gone. Obviously it's been lost with the blade out. And the blade's rusted away. Awesome little little pocket knife. Come on. Give up a belting signal. If there's bits like this in here, there's got to be other coins, stuff like that. So let's get doing it. Let's get them finds in. Hi guys, here's the next find. <clears throat> it's a strange one this. I thought it was a coin. I thought, nice one. Then I thought it was a button and I thought, I'm not really keen on buttons. But now looking at it, it's too thick, I'd say, to be a button. I can't get anything else off it. Almost looks silvery, doesn't it? Look Romanesque, but I can't see it being that. Especially not with that in the mood. It's got to be a button, I'd say. What do you think? If you've got any other ideas what that might be, whack it in the comments below. Joanne, do you see anything there on that side? I don't know. I really don't know. For now, until we find out, it's going to be a button, but there's some weight to that, and all oh, this is what's making me think it's lead. But then it's, it's brushing up like silver. You know, silver gets this black tarnish. It's been in the ground a while. I don't know. More investigation needed on that one. Let's crack on before this rain comes in. It's starting to look like it's going to rain. So let's crack on before we get wet. Hi guys, I'll just show you this next find lovely little bit of jewellery I think it's costume jewellery I can't see any markings on it see those lovely colours 
I, can't, I think it's a bit of a heart shaped type of thing. It looked gold at first when it came out, but it seems to have got a silverish back. I, I think it's going to be costume jewelry. I'd assume. I'll clean it when I get home. Get it. If I get any marks on it, I'll stick it on the video. But I'm going to say costume jewelry for now, but still a nice little, uh, little find. Pleased with that? Let's crack on before this rain comes in. Hi guys. Could have called it a day for today. I don't know if you can see behind me, this rain's coming in quite hard. So it's that time of the week, the Dell End wrap up. I'm going to show you what I've got. Not too bad for about an hour and a half. I came out about half past two. It's just gone four, quarter past four. Not bad. I hit the front of that house quite hard. I'll give it another go maybe later on in the week, maybe next weekend. Um, I'm going to do a bit of this field behind me, maybe tomorrow. So it's a Dell End wrap up. I show you the finds. Hi guys, it's the Dell End wrap up. Let's have a look. Pocket knife, awesome find. Love finding things like that. Definitely say the blade was out. That's why all this rust is here. It's a shame. I'd love to find one of them with a decent blade intact. That was that mystery object. It doesn't half look silver when you rub it, but is it a shot? It's not a shotgun end. I see some sort of a pattern on there, but I'm just not not sure. It's heavy. I mean, it could be lead, but I don't know. If anybody's got any ideas, was it in the comments? Spoon. Spoon end. Coin definitely going to say that's Victorian it's got that feel and that when you dug up enough of these you know get, they get a smooth feel and George the Thirds are normally very a lot rougher and your Victorians are, are quite smooth if it was a George the Fifth or maybe an Edward or a George the Thick there'd be more detail so I'm going to say that's Victorian so sort of, I don't know maybe mid 1800s Top of the medicine bottle, piece of crap. Um, I'm not sure. Doesn't it look like a bird now? I look like it. A bird. It's Twitter. <laughs> and lovely piece of. Um, I'm going to say it's. I don't know. I don't think it's any precious metals. I'll clean it when I get home. It looks like it's been maybe gold gilt. Or it, it could, be, it could be silver, but I doubt it. I really doubt it. But look at those uh, colours. Awesome. I mean, there might be markings on the chain. I can't see any markings on the back. If it was silver, you'd have a 925 or a sterling there, and I can't see anything. So it's still a nice little find. So uh, hopefully, I'll be out tomorrow. Continue a bit more of these uh, treasures. All I have to say is. Uh, Thanks for looking in. Up the top there will be uh, a playlist link. Click on that if you want to see more videos. Review videos will be down at the bottom. A link to the channel will be at the top corner there. And a link to my second channel will be down at the bottom there. Uh, all the videos where I was using the Ace150. So if you've got an Ace150 and you need any tips, well, check that out. And if you could subscribe to that as well many many thanks so all I have to say is uh, thanks for watching and let's jog on to the next hunt